So as promised, this show is going to be about hashtags trending on Twitter. Here's one. 15% of Sanders supporters will vote for Trump if Biden is nominee. 80% would back Biden. From what I can tell anecdotally, this 15% number is going up and not down. The ire being expressed against Joe Biden is just amazing right now. Just check yourself. Here's a tweet from Amir Amini, MD. Democratic elections in four phases. Number one, rig elections and screw voters to nominate the candidate your donor class likes. Number two, blame voters for not supporting the candidate you shoved down their throats. Number three, lose general election. Number four, repeat steps one to three because in a duopoly you never lose. Here's a tweet from Benjamin Dixon. Counterpoint. Centrists will not do the work necessary to win, including the countless hours that young leftists volunteered for Sanders. What they're doing instead is trying to shame leftists into enthusiastically supporting someone they won't even phone bank for. That was in response to Jessica Hooseman, who said, The left is really going to screw this right up, aren't they? You don't even know. Yes, dear Jessica, that's exactly what's going to happen. This is from at Bernie or Bust. Joe Biden, you are a demented rapist. You will lose in November, and deservedly so. That was in agreement with Katie Halper, who says, Number one, Tara Reid accused Joe Biden of sexual assault and harassment. Number two, Biden has not denied it. Number three, his campaign has. Number four, but it's been confirmed that Reid was abruptly demoted. Number five, and campaign has not said why. Number six, Neither the New York Times nor the Washington Post asked Biden campaign why. Here's another Benjamin Dixon. Morning. Blue check Twitter is about to see in real time which campaign was really limited to Twitter and which one had enough volunteers knocking on doors and making calls that it took every political machination imaginable to stop. Here's Howie Hawkins from the Green Party. When the choice is between Trump, the racist, incompetent, And Biden, the neoliberal hawk, who's also a racist incompetent, who will represent your values? Let's continue to fight for socialist solutions through the November election and beyond. Never settle. Dem exit. Learn more at HowieHawkins.us. Howie Hawkins 2020 platform, Economic Bill of Rights, Eco-Socialist Green New Deal, Peace Policies. If that appeals to you, why would you vote for Joe Biden? Because Trump! Ah, Trump! LOL. Barack Obama himself had to step down from the pantheon of the elites and intervene to stop Bernie Sanders. Phone banking and canvassing always work. Joe is going to need hundreds of millions to get a fraction of the volunteers Sanders enthusiastically had on GP. If Joe Biden fails to secure votes, that's Joe Biden's fault, not the fault of voters. This should be obvious, but obviously isn't. I'm going to retweet that one. Shingo Youngstar, I'm going to follow you. Follow. Biden loses, you get blamed. Biden wins, you get no credit. Suburban moms get the credit. Either way, you are disenfranchised. Empower yourself by showing third-party strength or abstaining. Make them court you to stop the bleeding. If you vote for loser Biden, you're a dum-dum. Here's Amir again talking back to Elizabeth Warren, who says, It should not take a coronavirus pandemic to convince the Saudi government to stop worsening the humanitarian crisis in Yemen, but I welcome this ceasefire. The U.S. should stop selling arms to the Saudis and pressure all parties to make this ceasefire permanent. Amir says, didn't you vote for Trump's military budget increase like twice, knowing he even tried to give Saudis the atomic bomb, you utterly despicable fraud? If my kettle boils over again regarding Elizabeth Warren, I'll tell you just how big of a fraud she is. There was a clip yesterday or the day before from Sahil from Progressive Voice, and he was saying, wow, it just seems like Elizabeth Warren must have been paid off trillions of dollars by somebody. He needs to read my article about the Hollywood connections and Elizabeth Warren. Richard Bergen, MP, says, We would have won in 2017 without all the sabotage. Imagine how different our country could have been. Labor members who give up their spare time to fight for a better society and get a labor government have my utmost respect. 
others showed their true colors. I think he's talking about the labor leaders who have sold out their rank and file by endorsing people like Elizabeth Warren. So let's end this on a labor note. I keep talking about the May Day strike, May 1st, 2020. Let's start to bring the oligarchy to its knees. Let's let the entire establishment know, not just the Democratic Party, but also the Republican Party, also the central bankers and hedge fund managers and Wall Street executives. Let's let them all know that we're not going to take it anymore. We're not going to swallow your corporate sock puppet Kool-Aid. We're done. Please spread this message to your comfy boomer friends and keep reminding them the reason that we're going to have Donald Trump is because of them. If they don't believe you, just have them spend five minutes on Twitter. Joe Biden ain't going to happen. I have to say that in just the brief amount of time since I made the clip this morning, the trends on Twitter have been changing. Almost miraculously, the hashtags that were trending against Joe Biden have been dwindling. The people I follow on Twitter haven't been tweeting less. It's just that their tweets aren't showing up in the form of trending hashtags. Twitter is not going to let its thumbs off of this scale.